Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again, back with the follow-up conclusion video thing about the int stack, uh, so Hand of Wisdom and Action Inquisitor that was designed to use Blade Flurry and Reeve, but ended up being just a Reeve character. So I'm happy to sing the praises of Reeve and the buff for it, because uh, it's pretty damn good. It's a very, I think, high tier melee skill right now uh, with Val Reeve Incorporated go up to 8 stacks and it's pretty reliable to stay at those stacks they, it doesn't immediately fall off it um, slowly degens if you're out of combat or you know not attacking and the fact that you can have 3 Val Reeves um, stacked up and it doesn't take many charges to get a stack of Val Reeve has made the playstyle quite a bit smoother since uh, last time I tried Reeve. Uh, it hits really hard, it has really good area and um, I was on a 5 link up until like level 93 and a half I think I did half a level and then some um, bit more end game on a six link finally and uh, it was pretty crazy so for a five link it got to like five or six million dps and could take on most of the normal end game uh, a six link obviously helps quite a bit for uh, a bit more damage and it was it was a noticeable gain in the tier 16s and all that uh, because all of a sudden things are just getting one shot quite a bit harder and uh, started to sneak pulverize into the setup as well and pulverize is a tough one to fit in because it does reduce your attack speed so it's only really i think super worth once you've actually got good attack speed on the character which does take a bit to get to because um, this character just doesn't have attack speed uh, pretty much anywhere on the tree as a int stack top of the tree sort of um, build and thus i have to get attack speed throughout um, blood rage frenzies flasks and dual sockets and uh, that does make me think also that this probably ain't the best way to play a reeve like you definitely could do things like a berserker um, just flat stacking so similar to your lightning strikes and all of that uh, still nightblade probably um, running flat cold flat lightning trinity all that sort of shit replica business maybe because uh, i'm i'm very low on attack speed compared to what you can have and a really big attack speed reeve with uh, the same area as what i've currently got here would just be a clear speed monster and feel pretty damn good i tried to have some sort of balance for the character for life in es though and you know be a bit tankier here or there and it worked out to some extent i think if it was a pure ci build though it would would actually um, probably be better because you'd focus a bit less on strength and the hybrid stat stacking like I did and you probably hit like 10k energy shield instead and my biggest flaw in the builds defenses right now is negative 60 chaos res uh, which if you were CI it would obviously be fixed so even with that I was surprised I could survive uh, many different chaos situations but it is largely up to just like having to dodge that shit and sometimes you'd still just die uh, so chaos res being at negative 60 kinda bad no surprises there but uh, <clears throat> still manageable and it wasn't so bad that I had to fix it immediately at any point uh, so yeah reeve i think is a pretty top tier skill at the moment the single targets still nothing special i think i got to like six or seven million and it allowed me to kill end game bosses pretty comfortably uh but it's still not really good enough for uh uber bossing because uber bossing takes more dps or more, or more tankiness or a better play style and as a melee or you know reeve obviously it doesn't look that melee a lot of the time given its range but you do have to like attack pretty up close early on to get the stacks happening and then it's not one of those skills that it has like huge mechanics behind it for dps it's a standstill attack and get damage um, as you attack style thing and that's where it really falls off on ubers you need something a little bit beefier but i don't think it matters uh, like I said, went through, did a whole bunch of endgame stuff, so uh, you're talking just regular Conquerors and Guardians and Maven, Shaper, that sort of shit, and it does, it performs really well there. There's no issues there, DPS is pretty good, can um, clean up all these bosses comfortably. Uh, it's just if you really care about Ubers, then you probably don't want to be doing a melee on like a 3 Divine Budget 
because um, things start to fall off and you need something slightly better. So to talk a bit more about Blade Flurry, uh, you just saw one very quick clip of me comparing Blade Flurry for single target. It's still got decent single target. I think more often than not, Reeve is a bit more reliable because you can be more range with it and uh, the DPS honestly seems kind of similar to Blade Flurry. Um, but the clear on Blade Flurry is substantially worse than Reeve. I think if you were going Blade Flurry, you'd either need way more attack speed or some sort of explosion mechanic. So, you know, an Impulsor or Occultist Pops or Bleed Pops, some sort of shit that actually helps it clear because otherwise you're just like individually hitting um, mobs and killing them. And it does do that pretty well. But on really large scale like packs, uh, it's just super inefficient compared to Reeve which is going to be like hitting the entire screen each time and these days there are some pretty large packs out there so it does feel kind of bad um, still up to you if you don't like Reeve you can do Blade Flurry um, but you're gonna just have some worse clear occasionally and then have comparable single target but it's gonna be a bit more of a stricter play style so did end up doing um, two other memory things as well. This is um, the Breach one, uh, and earlier in the video was the Harbinger one. Uh, found both of those myself, and yeah, the Harbinger one gets pretty intense, um, but not too bad unless you com uh, combine it with Beyond on the map. If you combine it with the Beyond, it gets, yeah, nutty. Otherwise, it's just kind of tedious. Um, the Breach one gets fairly intense, so this one that I've uh, I think there's more than one breach one, but this one that I found is um, starts out with like eight breaches in your map that open and close super fast and are pretty densely packed, and they slowly, over the map tiers as you um, progress through them, get harder and harder. So there's going to be like eight breaches, then 10, 12, etc. Uh, and on top of that, you'll end up having more life and then more damage from the breach mobs. Um, further into the map. So the last tier I think had like 120% monster life and like 60 or 80% monster damage. Can't remember. Some shit like that. It was pretty crazy. Uh, and you do need a character that can clear really well and it still sometimes isn't enough because it opens really fast, it closes really fast and there's a lot of monsters. So not sure what else to say. Um, before the 6 link, the character probably had a few divine budget. It was pretty damn cheap to put together in the current um, trade climate, but it won't really feel good until a lot of things come together and you get good attack speed, good damage, good int. Uh, but other than that, I'm happy just to let you know that Reeve is pretty good and um, you can think about it on some other examples, some other characters, and uh, work it into some new builds. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.